Hi there, Duncan from Sony Direct. We've just received our Juki G220 demonstrator. Um, it is currently at the Beeston shop, so if you want to have a demo, come and see. I'm just going to do a run through. Let's get started. So here we have the Juki G220. We'll get it turned on. Um, we'll just start running through the features of it. So we'll start on the left hand side. You've got a top loader bobbin. You've got a automatic needle threader, a one stop buttonhole and features, automatic start stop so the machine can say without a foot control. You then have a reverse scissor cutter or snippers and you've got speed adjustment as well. Manual tensions, automatic bobbin winder, push that across, that instigates it, starts it. Very quiet. And then on the side here, you've then got your panel that's got your ability to program whether you want it to cut at the end of your fabrics. Um, needle down feature, so you can keep the needle in the work. It's got a memory um, and it's got a range of stitches, which are all... So we have a range of um, patterns, I'm sorry, stitches up here, quite a few. And then these will all be chosen by the uh, numbers here, so your digits. So for example, pick your number of a stitch you want, whichever menu it is, and then rotate these numbers around until you get what you're after. You then pick your menu by pressing this button just here, and that changes the heart, A, B, C, and then you've got a straight stitch thing. That references these ones here. So depending on what folder the stitches you're in, will depend on which folder we have on display here. Oh. They're very easy to use. So when it comes to threading the machine, um, we're gonna follow the dotted lines through here and onto here. So your bobbin will end up on that bit. Your thread will go onto here. I've tried to pick a thread that's gonna stand out to make it easy for everybody. Um, put that onto there. Okay, and all we're going to do is follow the lines here. So you've got number one with a dotted line. We're going to follow it through. It gives you a lovely little diagram. You're going to follow it there, around there like so, around the back. Okay. And then make sure you've got a nice neat edge. Now I personally took in here. Put that down to there, push it across to engage, and then press the go button. You can adjust the speed. So that will go. It's filling nice and evenly. As you can see, it's going up and down. Now that will go up until it hits the end, then push back there. So but I'm gonna just jump ahead of the game with that. I'm gonna give it a snip. It's important to make sure that we've got a nice even fill and more importantly that it's nice and firm. If that's not been filled correctly, it will uh, be loose. So now we're going to thread it for sewing. So rather than us following the dotted lines, we're going to follow the solid lines. And if we go around here, number one, all the way around the side. So we're now going to thread it. And um, we're now going to follow the solid lines rather than the dotted lines. So we've gone round hopefully through there, through two, all the way down. And now we're now going to go through the front, which is the down up down bit. That's very common and popular with all of the sewing machines. I'm going to go round number three to four. Got five there and six. We've then got a needle threader. So we're now going to do the needle threader. I always put the foot down because it gives some tension onto the thread. And then we have a, what I call the leg there. So without the thread in it, we're going to push it firmly down. Oh, to make sure, actually, we've got the needle at the top of the press, the top of the travel. Make sure, just do, um, press the needle down button, press it again, and it brings it up. And that'll put it, make sure it's right at the top of its travel. So we know when everything's going to be then engaged. So what I'm going to do is just push it down so you can see you're going to push rotate round so i've pushed it quite firmly and you can see there what we've got is a little barbed hook's gone through the eye of the needle 
So I'm going to thread the, put the thread around the leg just there, firm press down, and on the needle thread itself, you've got a groove for your threads to go into. So that's now gone. We've got it hooked in. I'm now going to release my right hand. As you can see, it's going slack while I'm lifting up my left finger. So as long as they go slack and they round together, you'll see it pulls it through. Fantastic, perfect, and away we go. We put that through just there. Now we're going to put your bobbin in. So to do that, we pull this little little lever thing towards us here. That pops up. And as you can see, we've got some numbers one, two, and three. This is like a little racetrack we're going to do with our um, threads. And what we've got here is what I call an in and then an out. So the thread is going to go into, and it's going to come out here. But we are going to follow this track just there. So we put the thread in. The important thing is we make sure it goes anti clockwise. So we're going to go round. We're going to go through the in, we're going to go all the way now around from two into three, and then you've got a cutter just there. Now, because we've made sure it goes in the in, and because the way that this is set up, the machine will um, start off and you'll be able to start sewing. But what I want to do is just a little top tip, because we do get birds nesting every now and again. Just rotate that round, you'll see it come round just there, and it picks it up. We know we've got this machine threaded correctly with the bobbin thread because, as you'll see here, your thread is laying across the top of your bobbin case and your bobbin. If it wasn't and it had fallen out of these tensions here, because you can see the tension just there, then the thread will just come through and go straight up here. So it won't be laying across the top. So make sure it's always laying across the top. Once you know it's laying across the top, we're then away. And then you put your bobbin cover back on. And this can only go in one way. Excuse my lovely nails. And away we go. So we're just going to do some sewing. We're just going to do a standard straight stitch on some calico. And one thing I love about the Dukies is, is how quiet they are. Fantastic build quality. Yeah, this one currently, as of September 2024, retails at just over £1,000, so £1,075. And as you can see, just done a straight stitch. Press the cutter. And away we go. Nice and smooth. Drop the foot down again. I'm going to select it to do a zigzag stitch. So I want to pick number three. So all I'm going to do is just go one, two, three. That should give me a zigzag stitch. Thank you, buddy. So should I now want to make the stitch wider, I'll just come onto this bone, press these two here. And as you can see, it goes to seven, that's seven mil, seven mil stitch width. And now when we press go again, Coming to the end. There we go. Let's pick another stitch. This time we're gonna go for the heart section and we'll pick number, let's number 29 because that's a heart. So we're gonna go for that one just there, number 29. So we need to change the folder. We're gonna go for the heart folder Heart folder, and it's going to go up to two and then nine. Press go now. Obviously, you can have a foot control, I've not got one just because just because I'm on camera and it's one thing less to mess about with. So, there we go. So, 
So, as you can see, the Juki G220, fantastic machine, uh, great value. Um, it's got a lovely, um, nice sewing throat here. You're looking at just, just about 19 and a half centimeters. Um, in inches, just under, just over seven and a half inches as well. Um, it comes with a hard case currently, um, loads of stitches, alphabet, everything. Uh, so fantastic machine, it's around the thousand pound budget. So uh, yeah, give us a call. Hope we'll see you soon for a demonstration. Take care.